So before we start, what I've done here is just drawn up a quick sketch of what we're given. We've got these two perpendicular vectors i and j which are in a horizontal plane and we have this ball of mass 0.5 kilograms. It's moving with a velocity of 10i plus 24j meters per second when it's struck by this bat and immediately after impact the velocity of the ball is 20i meters per second. And what we've got to do is find the magnitude of the impulse of the bat on the ball. And that impulse is going to act somewhere, I would have thought, in this kind of direction. So if I just mark it on, we'll just call that impulse i. It's going to be a vector quantity, so I'm going to just put a squiggly line underneath it. So how are we going to work out that magnitude of the impulse? Well, you've got to remember that impulse equals change in momentum. And if we write up that equation, we'll be able to find out what i is as a vector quantity and then go on to work out the magnitude by applying Pythagoras' theorem. So I've just given you an overview then of how we're going to look at this problem and you might want to just pause the video at this stage then and have a go and come back when ready and I'll run through the work solution. Okay welcome back if you had a go. So uh, let's just see how we go about doing this question then. Well I did say that we need to start with impulse and you should be familiar with the fact then that impulse equals the change in momentum. That's the final momentum mv minus the initial momentum mu before the impact. So what we have here then is that the impulse which we've defined as being the vector i is going to equal the mass which is 0.5 times the final velocity which was 20i. I could actually take m out as a common factor so let's just do that it saves a bit of space. So we've just got v which is 20i minus the initial velocity and that will be 10i plus 24j. Remember we've got to have this in brackets though so that's going to be 10i plus 24j. And if we work this out we've got 0 0.5 then multiplied by 20i minus 10i so that's going to be 10i and we've got minus 24j. So if we halve each of these values we've got an impulse then of 5i minus 12j. Okay so that's our vector for the impulse i and we need to get the magnitude. So therefore to get that magnitude, let's just write an intro here, magnitude of the impulse we just need to apply Pythagoras' theorem because obviously we've got our impulse acting down here. Let's just mark it in again. I. We should know then that we have got 5 units in that direction and 12 units acting downwards. So therefore when it comes to that magnitude being a right angle triangle it's going to be the square root then of the sum of the squares of these two sides. 5 squared plus 12 squared. And this is a familiar triangle as well. 5, 12, 13 triangle. One that you should know. So that magnitude is going to be 13. And the units would be Newton seconds. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea how to do that. And if you got it, well done. All right.